I am obsessed with mini PCs. I want to take as much compute as I can and crush it all the way down into the smallest computer I can. And there's no better place to do that than at CES. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. I'm here at one of my favorite booths at CES because there are so many mini PCs, especially these two gaming PCs. This is the G1 Pro. It has an AMD Ryzen 9 8945HX, along with an RTX 5060. And if you want something that's a little bit different, you can go with the G7 Pro over there. It has an Intel Core i9-14900HX, along with an RTX 5070 laptop GPU. It packs a bunch of gaming power into a really slim design, which I'm in love with. One of my favorite things about mini PCs over the last year has been the Halo Strix line of CPUs. They're incredible for AI, and you can fit them in such a small form factor, like this MSS1 Max. This thing has 128 gigabytes of unified memory and a Halo Strix CPU that is incredible for local AI. It also has room for a single slot half height card and tons of interactivity because it has ethernet, USB type A, USB type four, and regular USB type two. This thing is incredibly compact and it doesn't have a power brick. It's got an internal power supply, which is super handy. And I know you guys have seen the N5 Pro from Mini's Forum because we've shown you in the past. This is a great little machine, but they just upgraded it. This is the N5 Max. It has upgraded drive sleds, which are way better and smoother to use. And the thing I'm really excited about, it has an internal power supply and Strix Halo. This thing has 128 gigabytes of unified memory, just like that MSS1 Max over there, but it's also a NAS. So you can fit your whole home lab in here and have room for local AI and have it all on one machine. It's really incredible. Now, not everything about mini PCs is AI. Now, while this Mini's Forum MSO2 Ultra is super capable of doing AI, because it has room for a two slot half height card, you can fit a GPU like this 9060 16 gig from AMD and do tons of AI workloads. But that's not the impressive part of this machine. What's really cool, it has room for up to 256 gigabytes of memory, which is great for doing VMs or any other kind of home lag workflow, which I love to do. It also has an internal power supply and super upgradable RAM. And I'm really impressed with the fact that they fit two 25 gigabit ports on the back of this thing. This is a home labber's dream machine. And if you wanna build your own mini PC, you absolutely can with these ITX motherboards that come pre-installed with mobile chips. So they're super cool. And this one doesn't even have a fan for its heat sink. For our next stop, we're here at the Lenovo booth at CES 2026, and I am in love with this little mini PC. This is the Yoga Mini i. It's only 600 grams to start with, and it has incredible features. Powered by the Panther Lake Intel Core Ultra X7-358H, which made it splash this week, this mini PC is definitely punching above its weight at just 600 grams. You can get up to 32 gigabytes of LPDDR5X memory and up to two terabytes of PCIe Gen 4 SSD storage. With Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 6, the wireless connectivity is absolutely astonishing. And we haven't even touched on the ports. We have not only one, but two Thunderbolt 4 ports, along with two USB-C ports, both are full function, but only one can handle the 100 watt adapter. It also comes with a USB-A 3.2 port and an HDMI 2.1 port, and they didn't slouch on network connectivity. We have a two and a half gigabit ethernet port for fast network transfer speeds. But the specs aren't all of what it's awesome about it. It also has a fingerprint scanner and it has a bunch of microphones around it so that you can do awesome things with the AI assistant that's built into it. And it has an RGB circle around the bottom so you could do things like changing the lighting based on the music that you're listening to, notifications, or just a greeting. It's really, really cool, and you can change it very easily. But it also has an accelerometer, which means it's going to have gesture control for that same AI assistant. I really, really like where this one is going. I'm here at the ASUS booth at CES 2026, and they have a ton of mini PCs. But by far, this is my favorite, NUC 16 Pro. When ASUS took over NUC a couple years ago, I was so happy because it was such a big brand in the industry, and I'm glad that they have been such a great steward. It has the latest and greatest Intel Core Ultra X9 Series 3 CPU, which gives it 180 tops of AI superpower. And one of my favorite features is that you can just pop it right open, toolessly. 
And you can see right here that we have two NVMe drives and tons of I.O. on the back, including Thunderbolt 4 and tons of I.O. on the front. Two 10 gigabit USB type A ports on the front, along with a type C port that is also 10 gigabit. There's really a lot of compute packed into such a tiny body. And this is so far my favorite mini PC at Asus's booth. Now, when it comes to gaming, not all mini PCs are built the same. And this is one of the best on the market. This is the ROG GR70 Mini PC from ASUS. It has up to a Ryzen 9 9955 HX 3D, which is incredible for gaming, not to mention it's RX 5070. They packed a lot of gaming power into such a tiny package. In my quest to find the coolest mini PC at CES 2026, I stumbled into the Qualcomm booth and I found the Long Cheer Mini PC. This thing is incredible. It has an 80 top CPU and an 18 core CPU. That's the Snapdragon X2 Elite. And if you don't need all that power, I have another great one to show you right over here. Like I said, if you don't need all 18 cores of the X2 Elite, you can get the X Plus, which is 10 CPU cores, and it has a bunch more connectivity still has 32 gigs of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage. These are all incredibly powerful and they just sip electricity. This is the MSI AI Edge. It's one of the best mini PCs for AI on the market right now. It's running on an AMD Ryzen AI Max 300 series CPU, which has incredible bandwidth because of the soldered on LPDDR5X memory. Has up to 128 gigabytes of it, but it only has 150 tops. So I'm really excited to see this one. This is the MSI QB NUC AI Plus. It has a 180 tops powered by a Panther Lake Intel Core Ultra 9 series processor. This thing has 180 tops and it can have up to 128 gigabytes of memory. And the best part is it's upgradable. It also has incredible IO. Two 10 gigabit USB-A ports on the front, a USB-C port on the front that's also 10 gigabit, and it has a fingerprint reader, which is absolutely going to be a game changer, which is going to be super useful for Windows Hello. On the back, we have two two and a half gigabit Ethernet ports, two HDMI ports, two Thunderbolt ports, and the power port. And what's incredible about this machine is that the whole thing fits in the palm of your hand. This is the Gigabyte AI Top Atom. If you want to run professional AI workloads or fine tune a model at your house, then this is definitely the way to do it. It has the GB10 super chip, just like the NVIDIA DGX Spark. With two Connect X7 ports, we can actually link two of these together and get double the RAM. It also has a 10 gigabit port, an HDMI port, and a plethora of USB-C, one of which is for power. But on the front, we have an expansive intake so we can keep this thing nice and cool while it's fine tuning very large models. One of my favorite things about mini PCs is that they can be a ton of fun. This here is an Ace Magic 1985 remastered. It's a super cool retro looking machine and it's super powerful. It has a Ryzen AI 9 HX 370 with Radeon 890M graphics and it's this cute little form factor. And it also has dual gigabit LAN, which is crazy for a retro machine. Hopefully you like this video and you can check out our full selection of mini PCs at your local micro center. And if you don't have a micro center near you, put hashtag I want a micro center near me down in the comments.